the Markham Field, just over two kilometres from the maritime border between the British and Dutch sectors of the Southern North Sea, lies Spirit Energy's ST1 platform. Production on this gas platform, which began in 1994, finally ceased in April 2016. The first phase saw ST1 placed in warm suspension mode in September 2017, with its six wells shut in and disconnected from the platform pipework. Platform power was provided by solar panels on the helideck. The top side pipework was cleaned and air gapped, leaving the facility hydrocarbon free. The second phase, in March 2018, sees the plug and abandonment of the wells by the jack up drill rig, the Paragon B391. The operation takes around 100 days to complete. In that time, too, Work is carried out to flush and clean the pipelines six kilometres back to the J6A platform in the Dutch sector, to which this unmanned platform is tied in and controlled from. ST1 is also prepared for the heavy lift of the top sides and jacket. With the aim of leaving a clean seabed, the well heads are severed three metres below the seabed and the pipelines are cut 600 millimetres down in July 2018. All the spools, hydrocarbon and methanol pipelines at the surface of the seabed are cut and lifted, with only the already entrenched pipeline section back to J6A left in place. Just before the platform legs, or jacket, is removed, the piles are cut two metres below the seabed. The final part of the decommissioning programme, the removal of the top sides and jacket, is carried out through two single lifts by the heavy lift vessel, the Stanislav Yudin. With careful planning, extensive stakeholder engagement and close collaboration with Markham partners and all others involved, the operation to decommission ST1 from entering warm suspension mode to complete removal takes just 12 months to complete in September 2018.